I was wrong about Ravi Zacharias, and maybe you were too. For years, I'd followed this ministry called RZIM, Ravi Zacharias International Ministry. I'd listen to Ravi at different colleges on the radio and hear his lectures. But by now, you probably have heard the truth behind what was truly going on for all those years. Um, an investigation has come out. Uh, it actually came out a number of months ago, at least in some form. That's when I became aware of it. But now it is kind of in the limelight. I think a, a big um, organization picked it up, maybe Time Magazine picked it up. But it was discovered that not only was Ravi Zacharias sexually promiscuous throughout his time at ministry, he was also a sexual abuser. I have to say that these are all allegations, but nonetheless, the f fortitude of this investigation and, and how many people have stepped forward and the context and the evidence, it's really convincing. Part of the reason I want to make this video is because um, six or seven months ago when Ravi passed away, I made a TikTok kind of highlighting his life, celebrating his life really. I've got over, I don't know, 35,000 views or something like that. The video has been taken down now. I, I took it down um, after kind of this information came out about Ravi, but I want to play with uh, play the video for you just so then you can see kind of our, my at least my perspective of Ravi before all this came out. Ravi Zacharias recently passed away. Ravi was a huge figure in Christianity and was known for his saying, helping the thinker believe and the believer think. As Ravi would travel to speak on different college campuses, he would often tell the story of how he came to faith. And as I'm lying in this hospital bed, having attempted to take my own life, a man walks in with a little red Gideon's New Testament. I couldn't reach out for it because my body was dehydrated. The moisture was gone. It was a servant in the house who rushed me to the hospital. And my mother takes that Bible that he gives and she says, you really can't stay here. My son is in critical condition. And he said, ma'am, your son needs this more than anything else. Ravi will be dearly missed, but he sets an amazing example for us even today. Dang, dang. That's the first time I've seen that in months. Um, I knew I had made it, but I, it's just kind of um, watching it again and hearing what I said about him. And I mean, I, I'm not people. A lot of people would have said the same thing. We were, you know, he sets an amazing example even for, you know, to this day. That's that's the idea that we had. He was our intellectual. He was the guy that would take on the big atheist philosophers and intellectuals of our day. He's the guy that would go toe-to-toe, -to -toe showing that Christianity was reasonable. He helped the believer think and the thinker believe. And yet, behind it all, it was just rampant sin. Not even just like, oh man, he had the struggle and he got help for, or like for it, and you know, there was this thing, ongoing battle, but it was this thing that he kept totally to himself, he never let anybody in, just kind of ate up his life to the point where you look at some of the, the the investigation he set up the string of massage parlors at least one or two in order to get these favors from women more easily i think about what this does for the name of christianity you think about ravi and how intertwined he was with even um like secular universities in the secular world ravi was one of those guys that was called on when they needed a christian representative um to kind of elaborate on the christian worldview and and he went toe to toe with a lot of these big wigs he was seen as one of the leading christian intellectuals and the fact that he, after his death, has been exposed being a, a total hypocrite, right? Man, it does put, it's, it's terrible. For us individually, I think about each of us, and I think about where are we putting our trust and our hope? Is it in teachers like Ravi to be perfect, to be good uh, examples of what Christ looked like? Obviously, we would want him to, and if we knew he wasn't, we wouldn't listen to him or follow him, but we had this idea that he was this person, right? And maybe you fell into the trap of not even just Ravi, but other people as well, honing into these people like really like wow this person is the person i want to be and um and maybe that clouds out a lot of other voices like you you know there are people and i sometimes on am this way 
you know, you hone into one teacher and you just really enjoy their style and you really enjoy what they're saying. And maybe that's all you're listening to at that time. You're listening to this one teacher. And then, you know, a couple years later, you kind of switch to a different teacher. But my recommendation, my encouragement for you is diversify the people you're listening to, not just because of the Ravi reason, you know, just because, oh, maybe they're doing something bad behind the scenes and you don't want to be crushed when they become exposed. That's pretty pessimistic. I wouldn't say that's the main reason, but the main reason is because uh, you want to be able to have diverse perspectives on the biblical text. And that's not to say that you want somebody that like believes heresy and then somebody lose good stuff. No, it's just like, hey, I wouldn't put all my, um, you know, eggs into one basket, all into one pastor because people make mistakes. And, and it's interesting to hear different people's perspectives on theological topics. I think that's important to gain a robust theology as opposed to honing into one guy who may let you down or may just go off the rails. Psalm 118 verse 8 says this, it is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in a man. Our key is that we take refuge in God, not in a man. So when we're struggling in our life, when we have doubts and questions we don't put all of our you know all of our faith into this person into ravi into whoever f solving the the question or really uh bringing back christianity oh yeah christianity is true after all after this guy said what he said no our faith is in god we take refuge in god and his word not just what any particular preacher or teacher or self-help guru says. I think about Nabil Qureshi, his story of seeking Allah and finding Jesus, who was mentored by Ravi Zacharias. And, you know, as Nabil was um, dying from cancer, I just think about the fact that his main, one of his greatest mentors was living a double life. And I just, I, it just breaks my heart, right? Like, it, it's just so sad. A couple things to take away from this video are definitely be accountable to somebody. Look, I, I realize you probably don't have the scope of influence or power that Ravi Zacharias had, but look, we all have, um, we all have things that we need to guard ourselves against and being in a place where you can be accountable to other people. And that's just going to be helpful for you. It's going to make things easier as opposed to harder. Like it might seem like a burden, but actually when that accountability is in place, it's actually kind of a light thing because there's no place to hide. There's no place to, um, you know, live a double life because you're being accountable to some people. So I encourage you, look, uh, make yourself accountable to people. It's up to you to kind of establish those kind of relationships where you're going to say, hey, I've been struggling with this. Hey, can you um, can you ask me questions about this periodically? I've been working through this. Those are important steps to take. Also, ask for God's protection. We forget about prayer so much and the importance of it. In this, it's not just about willpower and just trying to be the good Christian guy or girl. No, it's about asking God for his grace daily to keep us and hold us and to um, and to not uh, let us stray from him or his word. Um, let us ask God every day to keep us close to him. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you to all my patrons on Patreon. We are up to 34 patrons. We are almost to 40, almost meeting our goal of 40 for this month. So if you'd like to join Patreon, if you enjoy the content, head on over to patreon.com slash daily underscore disciple. So thank you so much to the, those of you who do that. Uh, thank you for watching this video, liking, subscribing, sharing this video, all that stuff. I will see you next time. God bless guys.